Hi, this is Mrs. Wiederholt, and welcome to my lesson video on base E and natural logarithms. Now let's get started. An exponential function with base E is called a natural base exponential function. You might be asking, well, when do we ever need to use these? Well, if you look right here, natural base exponential functions, they're used in science to model quantities that grow and decay continuously. And it is written like this, y equals e to the x power. Now the logarithm with base e is called the natural logarithm. And it is written like this, log base e of x is equal to the natural log of x. So ln is what we use to represent natural log. So basically log base e and ln are the same thing. Now let's do some examples together using the natural base exponential functions and the natural logarithms. Now to evaluate base e and natural log functions, or excuse me, expressions, you will need a calculator. And so I'm showing you this right here, because you might not have one at home with you, but we will be using the log button. We will be using the ln, which stands for natural log button. And we will also use second natural log, and that will give us the base e. We are going to evaluate each expression to four decimal places. Now our first example is a base e expression. It is e to the 1.5 power. So what you would do is you would hit second ln or natural log button on your calculator and then you would put in 1.5 and press enter. And when you do, you get 4.4817. Our next example is a natural log example, and it is the natural log of 8. So on your calculator, you would hit the LN button for natural log, and then enter 8, and then press enter. And when you do, you would get 2.0794. Now let's move on. Now we're going to learn how to write a natural log function as a base e function and vice versa. Now this is very similar to taking a log function and rewriting it as an exponential function. Now remember we learned that natural log is another way of expressing log base e. So first we're going to rewrite this in log or as log base e. So we have log base e of 50 equals x. Now all we have to do is write this in exponential form. So our base is e, so that's going to be the base of our exponential function. Our exponent will be x, and then that will equal the argument, which is 50. So there you go, that's all you have to do to rewrite a natural log function as a base e function. Now let's look at e to the x power equals 8. And now we're going to change it to a natural log function. So we're going from base e to natural log. Well remember, when we had exponential functions that we changed to log, we know we are going to have to start out with a log. Now what is the base of this exponential? It's e, so that's going to be the base of our log function. And the 8 is going to be our argument. So it's log base e of 8 and the exponent becomes our answer over here. So now the only thing to do as far as simplifying goes is we're going to change log base e to natural log. So we have the natural log of 8 equals x. Now let's look at evaluating some expressions where you have base e being raised to a natural log 
or where you're taking the natural log of base E. So let's look at the first one. E to the ln of 12 power. That would be E to the natural log of 12. We could put this in the calculator, but the answer will always be the argument of the natural log. So the answer to this one is 12. Now let's look at the natural log of e to the negative 2x power. Again, we could put this in our calculator, but the answer will always be the exponent. So the answer to this is negative 2x. Now let's solve some equations. Before we start solving, I want you to notice at the top of this page, I have put the form or the formula for the log function and for the exponential function. So if you don't have those memorized, you can use those for reference. Okay, now let's do the first example. We have a base e function, which is in the form of an exponential function. So if we're going to solve for x, we need to first change it to log function. So I'm going to start by writing log. And what is the base? It's e. Okay, so I have log base e, and now I need to put the argument, which is 1.1, and it equals the exponent. So we have log base e of 1.1 equals x. Okay, remember, log base e is a natural log, so we're going to rewrite that, showing natural log of 1.1 is equal to x. Now in your graphing calculator, you're going to uh, push the natural log button and then you're going to put in 1.1 and hit enter. And when you do that, you will have solved for x. x is 0 0.095. Now let's look at the next example. We have the natural log of 4x equals 3. Since the variable x is in the middle of this equation, that's our hint that we're going to have to change this to exponential form. So the first thing we need to do is we need to rewrite natural log as log base e. So I'm going to write log base e, and now we're going to continue. So we have log base e of 4x equals 3. Now it should be easy for us to change this to exponential form. I take the base, which is e, and I raise it to the third power, and it's going to equal 4x. Now put e to the third power in your calculator, and remember you do that by hitting the second and the ln button. So you're going to put that in your calculator, e to the third power, and when you do, you get 20.09. So 20.09 is equal to 4x, and now we're just one step away for solving for x. Divide both sides by 4, and you'll get that x equals 5.02. Now let's look at our third example. We will be using the product property in this one. So I have natural log of 6 plus natural log of x equals 4. Because I am adding two like logs, these two natural logs, I can simplify it by taking the natural log of 6 times x. And that's going to equal 4. Before we move on, I want you to notice that where we have it right now is exactly where the second example was to begin with. So we're going to be following the exact same steps as we did in the second example. Okay, now let's continue. So we're going to change the natural log. We're going to rewrite that as log base e. And so that's log base e of 6x equals 4. Now we can change it to a base e exponential function. So we take the base, which is e, we're going to raise it to the fourth power, and that equals 
6x. Now put e to the fourth power in your calculator, and when you do, you will get 54.6. So we have 54.6 equals 6x, and again, we are one step away for solving for x. x equals 9.1. Well, I hope this video has helped you understand a little bit more about base E and natural logs, and I look forward to working with you again. Bye-bye.